Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 20 career mode with Bayer Leverkusen and today we're at episode 6 of the career mode. So in today's episode we've got another tough game up against Atletico once again but I believe this time we are going to be away from home. But before we get into that game and before we get into today's episode if you guys do enjoy today's episode don't forget leave a like down below on the video and hit the subscribe button if you are new around here and you want to see more videos like this. So I thought start today's episode off we'll have a look at the league table we'll have a look at the youth academy and we'll also have a look at the calendar uh, you know for the upcoming games we'll just have you know get a gist of where we are in the season so far so first things first let's have a look at the league table here so you can see Bayern still at the top nine wins haven't lost a game 27 points uh, Dortmund in second now on 22 points and then us currently sat in third on 19 points tied with Frankfurt on 19 points as well so not a bad start to the season. Obviously, we could have done. We're not losing um, that recent game from last episode against uh, Werder Bremen. Yeah, Werder Bremen are currently sitting in ninth. Um, but it is what it is. And like I said, we should still be able to catch up to Dortmund. They are only three points ahead of us. So, you know, all it takes is for them to lose a game. Us win one. And we're right back up there neck and neck with them. So, next, uh, let's have a look at... Not youth staff. Don't know why I clicked on that. We've only got one uh, youth staff at the moment as well just because I know to complete the objective like we said we need three defenders so I've picked up one here didn't know he was a left back uh, from the you know the little map to give you uh, when you're scouting a player I thought he was a centre back but either way it counts as one of the left uh, one of the defenders for the objective so we brought him in um, centre mid obviously the potential as well I weren't really too bothered about uh, as long as I complete the objective that's all that matters really I can always sell him on and um, the next one will be my uh, Ralph Graf graph something like that he's got decent potential actually 72 to 92 uh look to sign him when he's old enough and then the last player here uh center forward a16 i can sign him already 76 potential to 94 that was like a really really good player there 77 pace already so six foot one as well so that's the youth academy like i said i've just been doing that in the background just you know as it goes nothing to you know nothing to keep updating you guys on just here and there uh, by the way, here's the calendar. So for today's episode, we've got, um, struggle to get my words out then, Gladbach uh, at home, sorry, I was going to say away from home then, at home for the first game. And then the second game is Atletico Madrid. I believe that is away from home. Then the third and final game is Wolfsburg away from home. But then next episode, the following episode, episode seven, we've got uh, Locomotive once again in the Champions League. And then Bayern Munich away from home. And then we go to December. Quite a few games there, like I say, cup game against Werder Bremen, who just beat us recently in the league, so that's going to be a tough game. We're in the round of 16. Um, Juventus there again in Champions League, um, and that will be the end of December. Obviously, a few games here. Our rivals, Coin, I believe that's how you pronounce that. Co Colin, Coin, I'm pretty sure it's Coin, but if you guys know the proper pronunciation, do let me know down in the comment section down below. But anyway, before we do any of that, let's start today's episode and get in today's episode. So, like I say, Gladbach's at home. I made a few changes. We'll have a look in here now. We'll just go ahead. And a lot of players were tired from last game. Like I say, we had to go into extra time, didn't we? And, you know, scored a winner, luckily, Volland. So, a few players are tired. So, the defence has had to have a change. The midfield's had to have a change. The wingers, you know, the striker. Um, Kai Havertz still in the team. But I do have another centre attacking mid on the bench. who will swap for Havertz, you know, some way through the match. But that's that. Let's get into the game and hopefully get three points. Kickoff has just begun in our first game. And like I say, still looking for all three points today. Not, look, not looking for a, a drop in performance because last game, when we played that game in the cup, the, key, the team really surprised me, to be honest. I thought we might have lost that game. And I think that's just through self-doubt, just because I've been in that position a few times. Cross comes in. Oh, okay, decent. Maybe could have got something on that. But again, goalkeeper got to it pretty easy. Um, but like I say, the team surprised me last episode, you know, getting through that. Just because I've been in games on career mode where it's gone to extra time and then gone to penalties and then just always either sometimes, but not a lot of the time, got through. But like I say, most of the time, gone out of the cup. So, team surprised me. Volland easily man of the match there to get the winner. But like I say, I'm looking for the same result again today. Not all players that played in that game are playing, but hopefully stood still get a good performance from them. There we go. Havertz, cross comes in. Leon Bailey... And goalkeeper, goalkeeper, defender, overhead kick to get that one away. And wow, I thought they were going to be on the break there. What was that, foul? Can't be offside. Oh, okay, fair enough, yeah, offside. It looks like he was down injured and then got up from being like, well, like like sort of in pain or what have you. And then got caught offside. Havertz here, oh, unable to play the simple pass. Okay, so just been given a penalty here in this game. I'm pretty sure it's a penalty, if not a free kick. 
Yellow card there for Hoffman. Jonas Hoffman. Gladbach, I think defender here. Look at that. Went to cross it in with Kai Havertz there. And it's a bit on the line. I've got a feeling it's going to be a free kick. Yeah, it is a free kick. But decent position here, to be fair. Let's try to get it in decently towards the back. And no. Okay, well, at least we got ourselves a corner. I've been trying to look online as well on some YouTube videos at corners just to see how to sort of maybe take them a little bit better. Will this play off? Okay, no. That didn't play off. No, 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 no. Oh, we've got the ball back. Thank God, Palacio. That did not play off. I think I've got to do a, a low cross there. And Volland. Okay. Ball's taken straight off him. Gladbach are through. Gladbach go 1-0 up here. Great goal, to be fair. The goalkeeper should have at least done a little bit better, in my opinion. But uh, they go 1-0 up. And let's have a look at the replay of that. I'm pretty sure he crossed... Yeah, he kicks it over there. Headed on towards the other striker. And there you go. Just follows it straight in. I just feel like the goalkeeper could have dived. Uh, I don't think he did dive, from if memory serves me right. Um, let's have a see. Yeah, he dived, but pretty late, to be fair. I thought he could have done better. But there you go. Mbolo makes it 1-0 for Borussia Mountain Gladbach. There we go. Saka working towards the middle. Saka with a shot. And goalkeeper easily got to that. About to go half-time here. Still 1-0 down in this game. Possibly a sub or two, but I haven't got many players to sub here. Like I say, because of last game, a lot of players on the bench are tired. Um, but we'll just have to see how the game pans out. I'm going to check Kai Havertz's um, stamina at the moment. See how he's doing. Yeah, he's pretty low there. So's Leon Bailey. So's the whole team, pretty much, apart from Arangis and Volland. The players are look looking pretty tired. So, I think, yeah, I don't really want to take Kai Havertz off. But I think I just need some pace. I need something up front. Greenwood there is going to come on at some point. Actually, Greenwood will come on now. Put Volland uh, back there. Put Bailey on the left for Saka. And then take Saka off just because he looks the most tired on that left-hand side. And then bring Greenwood on. And that's what we'll go with for the second half. Oh, here we go. Volland. Oh, I had a feeling he's going to be offside then. But he's not working out wide. He's not got the best pace. Uh, Leon Bailey looking for a pass in the middle. He's found it. Back out. Find another pass in. Arangis. Bellarabi. And offside. Of course. Offside. Of course. They weren't able to make anything of that attack. Getting a little bit more confident in this second half that we can make a change. Um, but like I say, just whether we can find the space, really. Oh, here we go. Glad back. Oh, great save. Just get it out. Almost the same mistake as we did against Werder Bremen, where we just did not clear the ball from defence quick enough. And I don't know why he's played the pass back there to Kamara, but he did. And like I say, just trying to get the ball forward, but they're defending really well. They're getting back very fast. Um, so when we try to get, get on the counter, it's proving quite difficult. There we go. Oh. Why did he play that? He still got it though, so sober. I wanted the free ball there to Greenwood and he didn't play it. Um, where are we going now? To Soba. We'll have to try the other wing, aren't we? Okay, so we've won ourselves a corner here. Ten minutes to go in this game. Still 1-0 to Gladbach. Let's have a see if we can do anything from this corner. Try to play it short near post. Goalkeeper's come out for it. Are we going to win this one back? Okay, no we're not. Gladbach on the break here. Benis, Benz, something along them lines. Taking it out wide. Can we just recover this? One thing that doesn't help this game, obviously we don't have our full, stronger starting 11 here. Jonathan Tarr isn't even playing as well. After the day's rest, or the couple of days rest we got, he was nowhere near fit, probably about half halfway. Whereas to be fair, I'd rather him fit for Atletico Madrid games. So I've got to keep that in mind. You know, these games right now, it's do you take a win? Uh, you know, and play your best players, but then not have them fit. Okay, okay. Amir, he's through. Knock it forward again. Okay, put it back. Oh, they slid in. Let's play the pass. Shoot, come on. Get in. Yes, Volland coming to the rescue once again in this career mode. For the second time, two episodes back to back, Volland has got us a crucial goal to possibly just rescue us a point here in this game. You can see here, I, mean, I thought I messed up there with the cutback, but luckily he recovered the ball, played a simple pass, and he got in the back of the net. Demir Bay, might as well put him on, see if it helps with Plasios's, uh recovery. But there you go, Volland, three goals now in the Bundesliga, and to be fair, I think that's how the game's going to end. So there we have it, there is the end of the game, one all at the end. And like I say, pretty disappointing, but to be fair, I'm just glad we came back in the 88th minute there and managed to grab ourselves you know, at least a point in this game. Because like I was mentioning, we've got to sort of try and construct the way we, you know, we we put out the teams. Because obviously we've got some, you know, good games coming up, tough games coming up. And we need our strongest players. You can see from the match facts here, we had four shots, only one on target. The goal, 
They had three shots, two on target. So, you know, tough game, but I'll take the point. So here we are into the second game of the episode against Atletico Madrid away from home. And here is the starting eleven. As you can see, all players still not up to full fitness. And Leon Bailey, especially there, Bellarabi on the right. Uh, Jonathan Tarr's come in, but even after that game, he's still not up to full, you know, full fitness ready. So this is the team. I've got some players on the bench to swap. Um, so hopefully we can probably nick a, nip a goal in first couple of, you know, first half, let's just say. First half and then second half, if we're still, let's say, 1-0 up and the game's going okay, we can make a few subs, what have you. But this is the team going into the game. So now at the moment, this is the Group D standings. You can see we are at the top. Um, obviously, goal difference is the same as Juventus is at the moment. So as things stand, willingly, we can lose this game. Um, you know, in terms in terms of points, even if we lose this game, Atletico will only go up to six points, so we'll still be ahead of them. But to get a win, to get all wins, to be honest, I know we didn't win against uh, Juventus, but we were away from home. So even if we just manage to win every game, I, I, I'll, I'll be happy and I'll take that. There we go. Oh, okay. Was that Volland there? It was Volland. Hoping for a finesse shot on the other side of his foot, but, you know, well, his other foot in general, to be honest, the other side of his foot. How is that even possible? Um, obviously, it is possible, but anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. Um, to get a win, it's not it's not important, but in terms of pushing ahead in the group and not have to worry about the other games, this will be a game we could do a winning. Oh, Volland, is he on side? And I believe he's on side. Oh, Volland, man. It was a good effort, to be fair. Gone wide at a post. I want to see by how much. Did it go quite wide or... Well, you can't really tell from that angle. It looks like it was close, but I think it's just the angle in general. But uh, I think that was probably our best chance, or maybe even only chance so far. So, so far. Uh, 25 minutes into this game, like I say, like I said in the first game against Atletico, they're really good defensively. So trying to break them down is quite difficult. And you can see here, Saka finding a pass to Volland, turned his man. Can he get the shot away? And oh, okay, second chance. We're getting more and more chances as we go here, Volland. Another chance there. Did it go far wide? And again, you can't really tell, but I don't think it was that far wide. Oh, Kai. Go on, Kai. Oh, Jimenez blocked it. Great defending there. Kai Havertz did great to turn his man and goes for the shot. But uh, Jimenez, like I say, great sliding tackle there. Blocked the attempt. Cross comes in. We're not even going to win this, are we? No, of course we're not. We never win any sort of headers in this game whatsoever. And Spen Bender, he is playing. Lars Bender's been asking for a lot of game time as well. And to be fair, in, I think he played in the cup game, didn't he? And he was literally all over the pitch. Kai Havertz, another chance here. And poor shot there, really. But yeah, he was all over the pitch and did really well in that game. Even considering his age and everything, stamina must have been low, but he was still covering ground. Okay, Atletico, cross comes in. They've won the header, Costa, but straight to the goalkeeper there. Not powerful enough to uh, trouble him. But uh, I think that might even be their first attempt on goal just before half-time here. Havertz trying to play a through ball. Bellarabi, has got there. Are we going to get a cross in here just before half-time? Cross comes in. Leon Bailey and denied off the line. Demir Bay still got the ball. Finesse shot, just cheeky finesse. And uh, literally, there we go. Yeah, half-time. I knew it would be. Thought I'd try to finesse shot from outside the box. I think it was. But either way, we go into half-time here. Nil-nil. And like I say, I'll happily take the points from this game. Uh, as long as, you know, Atletico still stay behind us in the group. Uh, Leon Bailey there getting quite tired at the moment. We're not too tired. We're not actually, you know, running out of stamina too fast in this game. So I'm happy with the team as it is. There we go. Great run by Leon Bailey. Trippier just getting a foot in there, but Bailey still got it. Cross comes in. And wow, okay. Volland, he actually got a head on it. That's what I'm surprised about. Not like the direction it went. But I was just surprised he got ahead on it there. See, Cross comes in and, yeah, miles away. But I think that's because I didn't expect to win the header, possibly. I don't know. But it was a great ball to get Leon Bailey through, to be fair. The RB there coming on for Bellarabi. Uh, Bellarabi's quite tired at the moment. I think we've actually got some decent rest time in between the next game against Wolfsburg. So the players will definitely need that. And here we go, Saka, left-hand side. Cross comes in. Okay, Volland. Volland. What a man this guy is. At the start of the season, I wrote this guy off. Like, not wrote him off completely, but he just weren't that great for me at all. Um, but his last couple of games, last episode and this episode, just scoring crucial goals all the time. And he's always in the right place. And that's one thing that, you know, older players, more experienced players have. He's definitely positioning. And, you know, sometimes Mason Greenwood, when I use him, all of the goals I do score with Mason Greenwood, I have to create myself, if you know what I mean. 
Whereas Volland always threw, always in great positions. So 15 minutes left in the second half. And I've got to admit, not much has happened in the second half. Uh, apart from the goal, obviously Volland scored. Obviously that was a crucial first goal of the game. But I mean, apart from that, not much has happened. Another sub here, Dragovic for Kamara. Yeah, I can do that sub. I don't, I don't see why not. Like I say, just trying to rotate all the players now. Just getting ready for the break. Make sure all players are fully rested. But uh, yeah, this second half, not much at all has happened. Oh, through ball here. Kai Havertz. Go on, smash this one in. Oh, I'm lucky. I think a lot of players have gone down injured there. Uh, Paulino for Saka. Yeah, I don't see why not. Might as well bring him on. And I possibly should have gone for the finesse there. Or just the other corner in general. Um, but I think one of our players went down injured. It hasn't come up injured. I haven't seen the, you know, like the sign. Or it hasn't come up in the corner. From Oh, yeah, Dragovic there. Injury. Wow, okay. Dragovic. Yeah, there you go. Injured, but it doesn't look like a serious injury because he's not exactly gone down and stretched off, what have you, uh, and limped off. So hopefully it might only be a couple of days, but he, is, he isn't one of our starting centre-backs, but he is one of our bench centre-backs. Here we go, Havertz, and wow, poor finesse there. Absolutely atrocious finesse shot there. But uh, yeah, like I say, not, not an important um, injury, but obviously all players are important because, you know, just replacement and etc. And how long's left in this game now? One minute and an extra time. Oh, let's go Madrid. Going to bring themselves back in this game. Some nice build-up play here. Lodi, decent player here. I, I was tempted to sign him in a previous career mode and I haven't used him yet. But I, I am interested in using him because uh, I've only heard good things from him in general. And Jonathan Tarr there. So grateful Jonathan Tarr's playing this game and we get the win. Thank God we get the win and we go home with all three points away from home. Against Atletico Madrid, let's have a look at the match facts here. And again, Kevin Holland, only goal, but the crucial goal. You see there, we had 14 shots, 8 on target. They had 1 shot, 1 on target. So we deserved to win that game. I can happily sit here and say we deserved to win that game. Just on the amount of shots, you know, we took in general. But in terms of player ratings here, you can see not many players were outstanding. Just Kevin Volland, just for the goal, really. Can I have it, you know, probably the next closest player there. Uh, I know Saka there on the, on, on the bench there, 8 match rating, so, you know, all round decent game, but like I said, second half wasn't that great, not much happened, but we got the win and we got the 3 points. So then guys, before we go into the final game of the episode against Wolfsburg away from home, um, I had a little email here and I remember having a comment, I think it was not last episode, episode 5 I think it was, someone mentioning maybe Jonathan Tarr for, you know, the captain's hard band, and I thought it was a good point that, you know, defender Jonathan Tarr, he, he deserves it pretty much, he feels right him having it. Um, but again, another email has come through. Greetings, Renzi. I've noticed that the upcoming match against Wolfsburg, your choice of captain is lacking a leadership trait. Might I suggest your name, Kevin Volland, instead of, you know, pretty much saying Kevin Volland should be the captain um, over Jonathan Tarr. Uh, as he suggested, it'll have, a, you know, an impact over the teammates during the match. Ultimately, it's, up to, it's all up to you. Now, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know, does this make a difference in the game? So I've got a feeling it's just one of them novelty things where, you know, it's like, oh my God, as if they recognise that, you know, uh, he has the leadership trait, what have you, but if it actually does make a difference, let me know down below in the comment section, I will change it over to Volland, um, but as it stands right now, I'll keep Jonathan Tarr as the captain, you can see from the squad, oh no, Orangis has it, Orangis should not have the, the captaincy, I'm sure I changed it to um, Jonathan Tarr, uh, where do we have it, captain here, Jonathan Tarr, I'm sure I selected Jonathan Tarr as the captain, but either way, let me know if it matters, if it's on Volland or not, let me know down below. Uh, but here's the team, recovered decently well here, you can see, you know, a lot of players, you know, fitness almost full. Uh, but let's get into this last game against Wolfsburg. There we go, Volland's picked up early here, got in the box, and cross, uh, cross, <laughs> shot comes in, but across the box it goes. Can we get back into Volland, and I can't. There we go, Saka's picked it up, find, find the pass, and Saka's picked it up again. Saka doing well to recover the ball here, Balarabi, and Demir Bey. Uh, Demir Bay again, okay, go for the shots and not enough time there to get the shot off but start of this game has gone quite well so far, feels a lot better to have the full fitness of the players I've got to admit uh, but let's see, will it make a massive difference this game and wow, okay, poor passing there has led to uh, Wolfsburg being on the attack now, can we just recover this ball and it's looking like we can't here, three points here is going to be crucial because I'm going to show you guys the league table after this and it's changed quite a bit um, since we last looked at it at the start of the episode and um, offside, thank God. Uh, but it's changed quite a bit. So hopefully a victory after this should be, you know, it's crucial for us right now because I think we fell into fourth place, if not fifth. 
I think because we, I think because we're a game behind, but I'm not too sure. But the league table has changed quite a bit, and the through here, and yeah, simple get simple save for the goalkeeper. Oh, right, here we go, Wolfsburg gonna go on the attack here, and okay, maybe not. Poor pass, and they've got it back as if. Of course they're gonna get it back there. Saka got the ball well. Bailey, these short passes aren't really helping us build up. Bellarabi here looking to link up with Volland over the top, and can I say there. Uh, blocking that one, great defender he is and if you're starting a career mode out and you don't know already which I'm pretty sure most of you do, Canate a great defender to buy and growing overall pretty much becomes a starting centre back, well straight away and wow, no 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 oh my god, as if we have just conceded that goal can you, can you believe that, we just conceded that oh FIFA I knew this was going to happen. I just knew a fluke goal like this was coming. I just knew. And look at this. Cross comes in here. Goalkeeper punches it away. And let's just look at that. Of course, bounces straight to the opposition. And you're getting all the angles here of this goal. Felt like he just sort of chipped that one in. I thought Saka was going to overhead kick it just before it went in. Unluckily, he didn't, unfortunately for us. And now we're behind once again in a league game. For the second time this episode, and we're going to fight our way back. There we go, Volland. Volland is through. Cut it back, go for the finesse. Go on, Volland. Yes, Volland, 41 minutes in, scores another crucial goal to just get us back in this game. Stupid defending before. Goalkeeper punching it out to do a player, and Volland has rescued us once again. And this has got to be Volland's episode. Here, I was almost tempted to play the pass. And, you know, great, great curve there on the finesse to get it in the back of there. Now four goals in the Bundesliga. And this is literally Volland's, Volland's episode. I'm going to put that in the title, Volland's episode, because this just is all goals, I think, pretty much. I can't remember. Yeah, th one, two, yeah, three goals now, all scored from Volland this, uh, this episode. So it's got to be his episode. He rightfully has the name to this episode. Will he drag us to get the 2-1 win or just get the win in general? And it's going to go half-time here as soon as I win the wall back. And, yeah, poor pass from Saka. Just just call it, ref. Ref, call it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ref called it. Half-time. Going to see if there's any changes to make. And then kick on straight into the second half. Okay, Arangas is through. Mason Greenwood in the box. Mason. Tough, tough to get the ball there if he was going to get it. Lars Bender is on now. Like I say, great player. He's been asking for game time. So I thought, why not bring him on? I think it was uh, Demir Bay I took off for him. Lars Bender, here we go, Arangis. Oh, I wanted to pass I want to cross the ball in, but I know crosses are pretty much pointless on this game. Uh, unless, obviously, you get them towards one of the posts. Volland through again, goes for the shot. Shouldn't have probably shot there. Um, oh, Diaby offside. Diaby's come on for Saka. Diaby, I don't think I've really played this episode, have I? I can't really remember playing him that much, but... Diaby's come on. Like I say, Greenwood's come on as well. The only player I took off for Mason Greenwood was Leon Bailey. He was really tired. So I just dropped uh, Volland back into Leon Bailey's place and then brought Greenwood on up front. Here we go. Is that Greenwood? Make the run, Greenwood. Just go. Just go. Tempted to sweat this one. And I think I'm going to get it in. Oh, get it back. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, what a wasted opportunity that was. I should have just shot with Greenwood. But I thought, you know what? I could sweat this one easily, and by the looks of it, no. And then the free ball just wasted there. Had the opportunity there to make it 2-1. 15 minutes left in this game. Still trying to look for the winner. Could really do with all three points here today. I draw decent, but it's not good enough at the moment. We had a rough, tough, uh, rough, tough. Um, a rough, you know, couple of games uh, in terms of, like, rest period in between them. So, probably give myself that bender. Coming forward here, going to get the chip in. Are we going to get the header on it? And like I said earlier, we're never, we're never going to win a header in this. Um, but yeah, 10 minutes left. Can we make anything of this? Here we go, Volland in space. Come on, Volland. Oh, don't win a corner. Do not win a corner. Thank. Oh, what has happened now? Offside? Of course, offside. Of course it was offside. I didn't want a corner. I wanted to just keep it in. But either way, we can't even do that. Are we going to win this header? Jonathan Tarr? Nope. Jump too early. Oh, here we go. Diaby's got it. Diaby plays the pass. Shoot. Come on. Yes. Havertz saving the day. We should have all three points from this game now. Kai Havertz. What a man. What a player this guy has been for us. Another goal. 
I think that's now six goals for the Bundesliga now, I'm pretty sure. Here, I was risking that pass, because I've tried that pass a few times, it hasn't played off. Diaby, I knew not to shoot with him. And then I think I have it's making the run there, and then he gets it, smashes it in the back of the net. And how many, yeah, six goals now for us this season. And he's done really well. Only two minutes left in extra time. Just going to try and play it out and just grind it out for the three points. So there we go. The game's ended 2-1 against Wolfsburg away from home. A great, great victory here to end the episode off. I really thought we was going to end with another draw there. And I weren't really settling for that at all. Just kept attacking and attacking and attacking. And we got there in the end. Like I say, thanks to Volland's goal here just before half time. It gives us the spirit in the second half. Late on, Kai Havertz grabbing the goal there to make it 2-1. And we leave with all three points. So there we go. Ending the episode off on a win. Thank God. But let's have a look at the league table before we end today's episode. Like I said, it's sort of changed a little bit. Um, obviously, with that win, it's pushed us back up to third. So from your guys' perspective, it hasn't really changed. But if you go back and look just before that game, you'll have to see the, the, the Bundesliga. Leipzig actually went up to third. And I'm pretty sure we dropped to fourth or fifth. And uh, now we've gone right back up to third place. 23 points here. Only a point behind Dortmund now. So you see there now they've drew on. They've drawn a few more games now. I think two more games uh, than the start of the episode. So only one point behind them. Leipzig three points behind us. So in terms of, you know, league table right now, it's not too bad. We're only a point off Dortmund and Leipzig are three points behind us. So things are getting better for us. And, you know, the league table is looking quite good for us at the moment, 11 games in. So here is the training for anyone, you know, wondering which players are you training, what have you, what have you. Uh, I've got Leon Bailey in there at the moment, but I feel like he's not really going up that much in overall. I think because he's getting so much, you know, first team game time, I don't really need to train him. So, might swap him out at some point for another player yet. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's the training. So, hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. And if you have, like I say, don't forget, leave a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all next time.